Hey, thanks for asking some questions. Uh, we're going to start with Rigos here, which is, do you have any advice for how one should be break, uh, how much one should draw in a day for comic books and especially storyboarding? And yeah, there's a, a couple of rule of thumbs I learned. Uh, for storyboarding, something I picked up from a board artist named Adrian Barrios was to do a page of script a day. And now storyboarding breaks down into uh, two segments, which is roughing out the boards, and then after those get approved, cleaning up the boards. And depending on the schedule of your show, you know, each production has a different schedule for their, for their board artist team. Like on Marvel Animation, uh, we had four weeks per episode. And so that's basically going to be two weeks for roughs and two weeks for cleanup. And on average, a board artist, if you're a full-time board artist, you're going to get seven to ten pages um, each assignment. So you're going to get your, let's just say seven pages of script, and you're going to calculate that you're going to rough out one page uh, a day. So you have, and not every page of script is equal, right? Like one page of script might have a lot of dialogue in it, and um, dialogue is going to eat up a decent chunk of the page, and so you might be able to depending on the amount of acting you know that you're going to put into the the characters and stuff and uh you know you might be able to breeze through that pretty quickly and then other um pages might require you you know to do more than one day's worth of work um then when it comes to cleanup it's a, a little um different at least the way that i you know started to, to develop the idea for myself so in professional storyboards of today you know you're you're probably working in storyboard pro and in storyboard pro you can shift over you know to to the window that um lets you know how many scenes and panels you have in your project and what i would do is after i've completed my roughs let's say that it, you know let's say i did the the goal of a page a, a page script a day then it takes me seven days so I would have uh, actually completed the roughs ahead of schedule, you know, two days into the second week. So that means that I have the two weeks of cleanup, which is 10 days, plus the three days that I got it done ahead of schedule. So that's 13 days. So you take your panel count, not yeah, your, your panel count, divide that by 13. That tells you how many panels a day you need to clean up in order to hit the deadline. And now not every board artist is the same. Some people like that, that's the way that I worked. And what I like to do is, is have a, a measurable um, set, uh, a check mark basically saying, yes, I did the amount of work I need to do today in order to get where I need to be. Uh, and other artists though, and that's what you need to do is determine who you are, how do you work, or want or need, um, to have the pressure of the deadline looming in order to inspire them, motivate them in order to start getting the job done. So like, you know, they might squander the first week not getting anything done, uh, maybe even the first two weeks. And then the second, you know, that pressure starts kicking in and so it forces them to start working. I don't like doing that, so I don't work that way. When it comes to comic books, um, it was the, the basic rule of thumb that I learned um, from Steve Lieber was a page a day. And we're talking about the classic um, model, you know, where you break down comic books by one person's writing, one person's penciling, another person's inking. And um, so we're just going to say with the penciler, you're aiming to pencil a page a day. And that's a good measurement to have because the average comic script is, or the average you know, assignment you have is, is 20 pages. And so if you look at it in terms of a monthly assignment with 30 days in the month on average, you're gonna have, you know, <laughs> anyone take weekends off, uh, possibly, you know, you're gonna hit exactly that page a day account if you have 20 and you work for four weeks. Um, it gets trickier in the more modern world where pencils have become tighter or maybe you're doing your own inks and you know you have to find your own way of break because that's the, that's the other problem is that let's say you get your assignment in comic books and it's going to be a 20 page comic book uh but you do have to do your layouts first 
And depending on how you work, those layouts are going to take different amounts of time. Like uh, my buddy Dustin Weaver, he liked to do really detailed lay layouts. And I never, you know, paid attention to how much it took him, how long it took him to do his layouts. Um, but I liked to do uh, layouts as fast as possible and to make them as simple as possible. Now, Because the layout phase is the most creatively demanding part of drawing a comic book. That's where you're doing most of your thinking and most of your problem solving. After you have the layouts done, it's just execution. That's basically where your brain you know, shuts off and you're just making the lines that you already planned out. So if you're aiming for that page a day, um, you know, and you're working four weeks with five work days a week, uh, you're already behind schedule because you have to do your layouts too. So let's say you take your layouts, um, let's say three days and that's, you know, that's really cooking. Then you're going to need to do either work on the weekends or you're going to need to hit uh, a higher than a page a day um, output in order to, to meet the deadline. And the same thing with comic books, you know, not every page is created equal. Some of the pages will be easier than others. And so, you know, maybe you can, plan that out right like if you've got one simple page you're going to cook through that half of the day and then you can knock out another simple page in half a day now you've done two pages a day but on average one page of art in pencils a day uh one page of script when you're roughing out for boards